it is a lie lie it doesn't work it's all in your head <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new on this channel my name is chidera steven i make videos about natural hair locks free from locks and all of that good stuff today i'm going to tell you natural hair rules that you are breaking if it's damaging your hair if it's making your hair journey longer so you guys stay tuned um click that subscribe button share this video with your friends and ask your questions in the comment section so i'm going to start with trimming i think this is where me and a lot of naturals we just um uh, we take different path while some people advocate trim your hair four times a year trim your hair once in two months i advocate trim your hair only when you need to like i don't get it why are you cutting off your hair like <laughs> it doesn't make sense because hair is already dead it's outside your body why people say, oh, trimming their hair makes their hair grow faster. It is a lie. Lie. It doesn't work. It's all in your head. It doesn't work. What happens most times is that some people have split ends, right? Which is like another argument, you know, split end and fairy knot, those nasty knots at the end of your hair. Some people have those and then they keep just, they just keep yanking their hair. So their hair keeps falling. So the length, the rate at which their hair is growing and the rate at which their hair is falling off, it's just like, uh, kind of like correlates, you know? So they feel like, oh, my hair isn't growing. So when they chop off those split ends that make their detangling stressful, they notice that they are okay, they detangle, you know, less often because their hair is able to, you know, just detangle and keep that style. But then they now assume that, oh, it's because I trim my hair, it makes my hair grow. Make it make sense. It doesn't. No, so no, no. I do not advocate trimming at all. Like with my natural hair, uh, 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 no. I, in fact, the, the times I trimmed my hair was when I had to redye my hair because I dyed my hair almost like okay not really a lot but i dyed my hair multiple times so the dye made my hair brittle i just felt okay she's just happy and i did it chop chop those were the times man another one we see quite often is clarify your hair boo boo Ugh. if you're being honest who has time for this like if you wash your hair once every week or once in two weeks i don't know if you still would have time to do the whole clarify your hair thingy i mean if you have to go in with a bentonite clay max come on i'm all for that i love that you know it just gives your hair those curls you know like ugh, bro but if you have to get a clarifying shampoo to clarify your hair like i don't get it like, what's what's going on i i honestly i don't get it i don't i do not even i don't get the science behind it that is it i don't get it now that connects us to the sulfate shampoo thing this is like another whole argument in the natural hair space should i use sulfate shampoo should i use uh, the one that's sulfate free <sighs> once again i will say what i always say to my dog do what is best for you honey just do what is best for you i mean this doesn't include that guy kissing on my bed but i mean what can i say do what works for you if you've tried a sulfate free shampoo and you love this i mean right on if you try the one with sulfate and you enjoy it woo, right on and this is that for me if i don't use like the regular shampoos i mean it just my it just leaves this junk in my hair it makes my hair my hair doesn't feel clean exactly so it might work for you it might not work for you i just don't get the rationale behind using sulfate free shampoos then you go back to pick them in the name of clarifying your hair make it make sense make it make sense it it doesn't another one is styling your hair on wet hair while some people love this you know it, they say it makes it helps their hair retain the style and all of that Whew, trust me styling your hair when it's wet i i don't think that's a good idea i mean for me it didn't work out for me because mostly when my hair is wet, my hair shrinks. Like, I look like a baby boy. I look like a boy. Like, my hair is, like, so short when it's wet. So, I don't know. Um, It just doesn't make sense. 
I feel like you should style your hair when it's like damp, so it's not totally bone dry. It's not so dripping wet. You know, just this that's it's that mixture that sweet spot. So yeah, really. So avoid breakage and to you know avoid risking your hair being in a tight style that you won't feel until it's dry. Just do it when it is like damp, more like hydrated. Now the internet breaking topic: using grease on your hair. I don't know. You know when we're like really small, our mother used the sulfur eight that thing on our hair and to just burn your scalp and you just you hold your shoulder like this. I don't know. I I really don't know why you guys want to feel that pain nowadays. I mean, honestly, the best I've been with grease. I use it on extension attachments, wigs, and all that. But putting grease on my hair, it just does this weird thing where when I go outside, you know, it's magneting all the dust in Lagos, in Accra. It's like, yes, yeah, see me, see me, grab, grab, see me, grab, grab. Which is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's just not my style. But if it works for you, fine. Some people say that grease helps them retain more moisture. For me, shea butter is my G, like I am the queen, like it does it for me. But if Grease is doing that for you, I mean, who am I? Who am I? Ha, like it's a nobody. Go ahead, boo boo. <laughs> Just do you. Now, when it comes to hair staple, I can't count the number of times people DM me with so many products. Oh, I've tried this, I've tried this, I've tried this, I've tried it, I've tried it, I've tried it, I've tried it, I've tried it. They are all not working. You've tried about 75 products in the space of a month. Come on. We are not going to mass, are we? I mean, it doesn't make sense. You try so many products. I always tell people that. Always have your staple. Like for me, aloe vera, shea butter. These are my G's right from day one. So always have your staple. Adjust your staple if you have to. But if you jump from one product to another, if you jump to the next product you see on YouTube, the next review I push out, the next thing you see on Instagram, bro, I don't know. You're just going to extend your natural hair journey. Make it longer than it's supposed to last. So yeah, honestly, have your staple. This is a rule that nobody should break. Have your staple. So even if you have to go to a desert, you know that oh you have these three products and you are good to go building a natural hair routine it's really 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 important if you guys want a routine that i've used it worked for me i give it to my customers that buy products for me both home and abroad <laughs> abroad i mean us <laughs> yeah if you want that you can click on the link in my description yeah to my whatsapp business i will send you the routine yeah I've done it you can tweak it in a way that suits you but yeah i have a routine a daily routine a weekly routine a monthly routine i keep it simple i keep it short you know we get results we are out of here so learn to find a routine that works for you you know just you don't have to copy my routine verbatim you don't have to copy another vlogger's routine verbatim just look for the one that you really like it works for you you get out there and you do that okay now the last but not the least okay you go on instagram and everywhere and you always say moisturize your hair moisturize your hair moisturize your hair if you moisturize your hair too much like way too much you end up with hydra fatigue your hair is so moisturized it's down it's weak it's dying it's over soap it's like dipping bread in water you know how disgusting that is bro don't get me started please what i'm trying to say is that it's good to moisturize your hair but you should know when to and when not to you know? <clears throat> for me i noticed that when the weather is kind of like cold like when we are in the rainy season or whatever we have here in africa i don't need to spray my hair every day but if it's hamatan oh sure why not i mean i could water my hair every day i mean spray my hair not water it's not drench it in water basically so yeah you have to check where you live how the weather is because all of these things all of these things that you see on the internet it really boils down to where you live how your hair reacts what is good for you it really boils down to you 
basically we can come here do our research give you what worked for us what is best out there but if it doesn't work for you boo boo it ain't gonna work for you so that's all i have for this video make sure you check out my vlogging channel link in the description <laughs> yeah so yeah check my channel this one is going to be strictly for all things natural hair and locks if you like this video leave a comment down in the comment section if you like this video leave a comment down and give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions ask me your question and um peace out stay fabulous don't let anybody kill your light even me out i mean sorry i mean